All right, the reason I'm doing this video is because truth matters. And we all know that truth is the first casualty in any war, including the information war. And we know it's important to get out truthful, factual information, because if you don't, if you lie or you engage in any kind of deception like we've seen with mainstream media in the past, lives are lost. It literally leads to the death of many, many people when mainstream media lies. For example, the Gulf of Tonkin. No Vietnamese torpedo boat fired on the USS Maddox, but they said it did. And that brought about the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which led to the Vietnam War, which cost the lives of over 58,000 servicemen, plus 1.5 to 3 million Vietnamese, innocent Vietnamese. One lie. Then there was weapons of mass destruction, closing of the gold window. Just so many lies have led to so much mayhem and mischief and death. That's why it's important. Truth is the first casualty in any war. And we know the people who engage in this war have been mainstream media. So I'm not making any assertions here, but I am asking some very serious questions. This was reported today by the Gateway Pundit. CBS News caught using footage from an Italian hospital to describe conditions in New York City. Why would they do that? Look at this. Footage from Sky News. This was from Italy on March 22nd. And this is footage that they used from CBS during the New York City report on March 25th. Same, same person, same computer right here, same little medical cart, same sheets. It's the same room. I'm going to show you the footage right here. Look at this. From New York at Holy Name Medical Center in New Jersey, the chief infectious disease specialist says his hospital... Listen, you, you could even tell they weren't even speaking English right there. Listen. At Holy Name Medical Center in New Jersey, the chief infectious disease specialist says his hospital has just 10 ventilators, barely enough for now. So using this footage right here, they're trying to give you the impression that this is a hospital in New York City. New York's governor says FEMA gave the state 400 ventilators. Look, there's the room right there. CBS is trying to give you the impression that this is an emergency room in New York City, when it's clearly footage that was used from Sky News from Italy. Now look at this. They're fighting a war here and they're losing. That's the, the footage from Sky News. To the coronavirus is overwhelming every hospital in Northern Italy. Look at this. There's that computer. There's this bed. Look, the sheets are the exact same. It's the same room, guys. Medical cart, same person in green, people in blue here. The staff are working flat out trying to keep these people from deteriorating. And you know what it makes me wonder? And I'm just wondering here, YouTube, I'm not making any assertions. It makes me wonder how legitimate this footage is right here from Sky News. Further. They're trying to stop them from dying. Is that true? Is what the reporter's saying there true? Are they really trying to stop these people from dying? Or is there something else going on here? The C word. C-R-I. And I can't say that word because if you do, you get your YouTube channel taken down. This isn't an intensive care unit. It's an emergency ward. The ICU is full. People have only just arrived here and they're in terrible shape. This is an absolute constant. This killer pandemic is virtually out of control. So we know they want you to believe this is a killer pandemic and everything's out of control. They want you to believe this is an emergency room and they're trying to fight to save these people's lives. But what's really going on here? Nobody expected this. Nobody thought they'd be... The plastic bubbles the staff struggle to communicate through attempt to equalize the air pressure in the lungs. Nobody expected this. Nobody thought they'd be treating so many so quickly. And it's not like flu. It is chronic pneumonia, and it is killing hundreds each day. There are now. So, is that true? Can we believe that what Sky News is reporting in this emergency room with all these doctors working on all these patients? Can we believe that's true? Why would CBS use footage? from Italy to try to convince you that this is happening in New York.
These news corporations like CBS have billions of dollars of resources to get their news articles right. Why would they resort to co-opting other news footage to try to convince you that this has taken place in a state that it's not taking place in? Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.